Well, it's the third week of LCS. with coverage brought to you by Alienware. It's uh, day two here, and I'm joined right now by Core JJ. Uh, Core JJ, we have not talked in some time. First time in the summer. Uh, you've you've now you're now part of the leadership of the Players Association. Uh, so <laughs> why why did you decide to become part of the leadership? Because previously people signed up for those as like a meme thing. So I don't, <laughs> I'm kind of curious to hear from you why you decided to, to join up. Um, um, biggest lesson is I want to see, I want to win world championship in NA team. So that's why, um, like being uh, one of the, the PA member, I can, if there is anything I can have to uh, make this lesson better. And yeah, I think every, everything in my mind is like winning the world now. Everything. Okay, so that's yeah. what you're you're doing. Are the, do you have any ideas on what you're you're going to push for at the Players Association to try to do to to level up North America? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know. I <clears throat> um. Right now, I'm actually focusing on the the our teams game, and yeah, we 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 better think about it. Okay. Totally get it. Uh, makes sense that you'd be focusing on, on the team. All right, so obviously Team Liquid has had a lot of drama recently uh, publicly um, with the Alfari situation. So uh, how have you been navigating that on the team? Has it been difficult at all um, to manage, obviously, a player subbing in for the last couple of weeks and how that's all gone? Uh, yeah, it's like, for sure it's, it was not easy, but... We all knew that Thomas Jenkins is actually a really good player. And then he has a different strength than Bunny. And and I'm actually really glad that we have we have a like two different type of like great timeliner at this point. There uh, along those same lines, there's been a lot of discussion this week about Jat as a coach and the player's relationship with Jat. So I, I wanted to get uh, your take on, uh, you know, sort of how, how, what is it like working with Jat and what is your relationship with him like? Uh, I don't know where the, the rumor came from, but I'm, I'm actually enjoying working with him because it's really easy to talk, easy to talk. So I can, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have any problems. Okay. Well, do you do you personally anticipate Alfari coming back to the team? Do you think that that will happen at some point in time in the summer? Or I, I don't know how clued in or looped in you are in on, on those kind of conversations. Uh, it was pretty surprised to me. Yeah. But one thing is like, uh, at least I knew that uh, Jenkins is a really good player. Yeah, as a top. Well, how? Uh, what do you think of Team Liquid's performance so far this summer? Because it does feel like we've seen a lot of teams kind of all over the place in these first three weeks. You guys with Jenkins on on the team, I don't know how satisfied you are with what you guys have been able to do, especially having a player show up. Um, you know, just right in the uh, first weekend of the LCS. So I'm kind of curious what what you think of the the team's performance and how satisfied you are with it. Where because we lost against some good teams, I don't, I'm not super satisfied yet, but at least I think we showed our, you know, potential. And then at least we showed some, some of like strengths. I think if we win tomorrow against 100 teams, I would say we are just, the, we are the best team in the HS right now. Cause like other team is not doing well. So it's really it really comes down to the hundred thieves game for you. Yeah, uh, hundred thieves game is really important. I always think FBA who he is like right now is the best patio one other than us. Yeah. So what what do you think of TSM? Because I know they went three uh, zero in their first week, and then last week they went uh, I think one and two. And so I think a lot of people in that first week thought really highly of TSM, and they were one of the only like top teams to not make a roster change, uh, because obviously Hunter T 
you and C9 did. So I'm just kind of curious your take on them. Uh, you know, it's it's always good to see like teams team having a team color, like uh, TSM picking good champion in late game and they win the late game. You know, uh, it's good. <laughs> but yeah. doesn't seem that dominant, but we cannot deny they're, they're a good, good team. But you would not... It sounds like you don't think that they're a contender for the first place team right now. It sounds like you think it's really just down to you and Hunter T. Uh, no, not really. Like, um, like those type of teams, it's always hard to beat. But, you know, at the same time, it's not scared to face, face them. Yeah. So it's hard to tell. Yeah. But, you know, like if team, like if League HS has multiple type of teams, you know, like some team can play for late game. Some team can play for macro. Yeah. Very good. we we'll see. Well, I guess we will see. Uh, is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there, Core JJ? Uh, we're going to win Worlds. You're going to win Worlds. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see it. Uh, it sounds, I don't know what... Uh, plans you have for the Players Association, but it sounds like you joined it to try to win Worlds, and this year you're going to win Worlds. So I'm glad, <laughs> glad, glad to see you'll you'll be making changes very quickly. Uh, thank you so much, Corey JJ, for the interview. Looking forward to seeing uh, you guys as you march on towards lifting the Summoners Cup in uh, October or November. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. Howdy, it's a me, Travis Gafford. I live in Southern California, but we don't have a Southern draw. I don't know where I'm going with this. Listen, please do me a favor and sign up for Alienware Arena. You can do so by clicking the link in the description of this video and then clicking at the very top of that page, very, very top, there's gonna be a logo that just says Alienware Arena. If you click that, you can sign up. And if you've already signed up, please like go check it out because they basically have different stuff going through there every week that you can get, you can earn. You don't have to have an Alienware computer. In fact, this is a really great way to help support me uh, by supporting Alienware without going out and spending money on, on a computer because maybe you're not in a situation right now where you need to do that. Hopefully in the future you will be for everyone. That would be great for me and you and Alienware. But, uh, you know, this is a cool way that you can sign up. We love it when people sign up for Alienware Arena. Thanks for watching.